This is Carlos Place, the Connaught Hotel to my right, Grosvenor Square to my left, and the buildings around here represent the second rebuilding from the original townhouses that made up the square. Behind us is what was a banking hall, an Edwardian banking hall, and the big windows were transparent through which you saw the florid Edwardian plasterwork in the interior from cornices to surrounds. It's now a gallery for contemporary art, Timothy Taylor's gallery, and all that ornateness has been stripped away to create as neutral as possible a container for the art. So the transformation has been an interesting one. The windows which were transparent have now been blocked, but they're backlit, so they create a ghostly presence of the interior on the outside. So here we are in the old banking hall. It's 55 foot long, 30 foot wide, 12 and a bit foot high. The cast concrete floor evokes an industrial rather than a domestic finish, something like an artist's studio in an old warehouse space. The ceiling has four rectangular apertures emitting light that are an abstraction of the idea of a skylight. They create in this space a very even distribution of light. If an emphasis is wanted on sculpture or a picture, then additionally around their edge, spotlights can be placed that will then light the walls or any part of the floor. The challenge with a gallery is very much the relationship between viewing spaces and the office spaces in this case, below. Coming down now into this space, which is where the curators are, this is where the workshops are, this is where you come for a transaction. You're coming into a world that is warmer, with timber that evokes something more of a domestic world. The stair sits with a sculptural quality in the space that's been carved out to house it. The transition between the heavy ground floor and the lower ground is accommodated by having this quality of a stack of wood. In association with the main gallery space, there are a number of other spaces for viewing art in a more intimate circumstance. This is the old bank manager's office. It is actually top lit and is outside the body of the main building. Here, art can be drawn into the space or withdrawn much more freely and informally than in the big gallery space. This is where the gallery reveals its secrets to potential buyers so they can imagine owning a painting and putting it on their walls. An experience that belongs to this part of Mayfair as much as shopping on Bond Street or staying at the Connaught. <laughs> 